Let's say a man is, you know, super in shape, has an amazing body, but super insecure, or a man whose physique isn't on point, but he's super confident, super secure in himself. What do you find more attractive and why? Confidence. Why because it's kind of annoying when someone's like hot as and they're like, oh my god, I'm so ugly. Um, my friend Claudia wants your number. My number? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually uh, kind of. Oh, too bad. <laughs> I'd rather a confident person that doesn't have a good body. Yeah, also they can't have a big f***ing ego. <laughs> it's like a mid guy with high confidence every day. They feel better about themselves and they'll treat you better also. I mean, there's a saying that says, look good, feel good, exactly. right? Exactly. So. And they usually have a big ego if they're jacked, so. <laughs> yeah. Confidence is key, dad bots all the way. Or would you prefer... Uh, confidence, for sure. What do each one of you prefer, dad bods or like a ripped guy? Dad bods for the sole reason that guys with that are ripped are gonna have the ego. Hey, I'd rather have like a dad bod, but again, like it's not all about like the body type. If you're confident in yourself, like that's a lot more attractive than someone who's like way that's too jacked. Teacher. Yeah, I guess a dad bod. I don't know. It just depends on what how big it is. <laughs> that's true. So at least she's honest, guys. At least she's honest. All right, what do you think? Um, yeah, I would say a dad bod. As long as you're confident and you're good with yourself, then doesn't matter. A hundred percent confidence. We're always going to choose confidence over physique. I want you to be healthy, but yeah, I don't like super bulky, like, weightlifting guys. It's not my type, so gotcha. I don't know. It's someone's type. It's just not our type. Yeah. It definitely does help to look good or at least dress but better and stuff like confidence that. Confidence isn't necessarily directly mm. related to yeah. that. Yeah, like body, money, social status, For that. Sure. It's all like a front in a way. It's like a, It all starts in it, it trickles yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I could argue some of those men, like the top 1% men, are probably one of the most insecure men. Because sure. it's almost like they're doing all of it to like what front. Compensating for. Exactly, For sure. exactly, exactly. You know? Who do you think trains harder in the gym? Men or women? Why or why not? women and I think that's because there is just this standard that you want to meet for you know they want to put stuff on us right like everyone is like wanting to be like the Kardashians or something so I think women are training harder so it's like more of a mental thing like a mental push for women sure yeah Next question is, do you think men's fitness contributes to toxic masculinity? Why or why not? I think it varies because it's it all has to do with why they're getting into fitness to start. Like, are you getting into it to fit those societal standards? Are you doing it just for yourself? I can agree that men's fitness, it can perpetuate a societal standard. But at the end of the day, if you're doing it for yourself, if you're doing it for what makes you feel good, then that's all that really matters, right? Yeah, I like that. Dude, that's actually like one of the best answers we got. Like, the first one is like people just like quick to judge, like, yeah, toxic. I'm like, I mean, that's actually a well put together <laughs> answer. I've been um, trying to say this for a minute. Yeah, there you go. Any last thoughts for the subscribers out there? If you want something in your life, just go after it and figure out what the next steps are to make it happen. If it's fitness related, life related, just do it because everything's attainable. You just need to figure out the steps to, to make it happen. Beautiful. Doesn't make you skin deep to want to better yourself. Get out there and do your thing and you're going to kill it. I know it. <laughs> Hating yourself does not make you love yourself. There you go. So you have to love yourself into loving yourself. So if you hate yourself into a different body, it's not going to make you love yourself more. There you go, guys. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. Awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. What was your name? Uh, I appreciate the compliment. I'm Joey. Joey. Yeah, All right. We'll channel. see you on TikTok. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, girls. Take care. Dude, Joey, Joey gets all the... <laughs>